and LePage Halifax, one of our newest and finest four-engine bombers, descended from a good old line of aggressive bomber types, of which one, the Handley Page 5, was designed to bomb Berlin in 1918. It had the right idea. And now the Hun may well say, from hell, Hull and Halifax, good Lord deliver us. Junkers Ju-90, a transport plane which has a capacity of up to 40 armed troops and can carry artillery and tanks. The bombing version of the same machine is the Ju-89. Seconds out then, and down to detail, keeping the German where it should be, underneath. Halifax, blunt nose, upper line of fuselage may be broken by gun turret, tall, angular, thin and rudder. Ju-90, pointed nose, unbroken line to top of fuselage, squat, rounded fin and rudder. Enter the sparring partners, German on the right, fat and fishy. British on the left, slim and angular. And here you've got the solution. Ju-90, right, the arrow head, as wings sweep sharply back to tips, and daylight shows between flaps and trailing edge. The fuselage is very fat as well. Halifax left, the slim fuselage, and taper to wings only from inner engines. That tells the story, all right. And return journey, compare those tail units. Different, aren't they? Ju-90 on the right. Now we'll put them through a complete turn and stop the action for easy comparison. Halifax left. As she rises, she shows general slimness and angularity, as well as her inline engines. Ju-90 gives a bulbous effect and shows her radials. And see those wide spaces between wing flaps and trailing edge on the Junkers machine. British, with blunt, transparent nose. German, with pointed, solid nose. Halifax left, straight taper from inner engines, straight lines to fuselage. Bosch right, that arrow head. Fuselage, fat and fishy, isn't it? Halifax, with a gun turret projecting aft. Ju-90, pointed fuselage and no gun turret. And finally, look at the characteristic Junkers gaps on the Ju-90 tailplane. Quite easy to distinguish, aren't they? Right, now let's break down the side view of the two machines. Ju-90 underneath, pointed nose. Fishy appearance. Clean top side. Very low, rounded tail unit. And that projecting fuselage as well, which contains no gun turret. Now to the Halifax on top there. A blunt nose, the straight lines of the fuselage, a gun turret may break that top line, tall, angular fins and rudders, with gun turret tacked on behind. So you can tell friend from foe right away by those differences. Now, are they as easy to spot as they come for you? This is the time to make your decision. Quick, which is the Hun? Yes, still on the right. Mid-wing, low-wing. Both moderate dihedrals, but Halifax, straight center section. And Ju-90, that thickness at wing roots. Halifax, fuselage breaks underside. Ju-90, fuselage does not. British, underslung in-line engines. German, centered radials. So there you are, the Ju-90 on the right is the one to go for. Lifting in the air, you can still see the slimness of the Halifax, compared with the fat, rounded Ju-90. And look for the gap between wing flap and trailing edge on the Hun. Turning, Halifax, blunt, transparent nose. Ju-90, pointed, solid nose.
And there's the arrowhead of the Ju-90 shouting its identity from the housetops. Halifax left with straight taper to wings from inner engines. And so to the tail units. Halifax left with its tall angular fins and rudders. Ju-90 with its low and rounded ones. There are those characteristic Junkers gaps on the tailplane. And finally, that sting in the tail of the Halifax and the pointed fuselage of the Ju-90. So let's sum up the Halifax and the Ju-90. The Halifax, broken underside. The Ju-90, clean underside. Halifax, slim fuselage. Ju-90, fat fuselage. Slightly tapered wings, distinctive arrow head. The Halifax, tall angular fins and rudders. The Ju-90, squat rounded ones. So never again will you confuse the troop carrying Ju-90 with the Halifax, one of Britain's finest heavy bombers. Here's the new dope. The Bosch never knows when he's finished. He's been tampering with the 90. So not to be outdone, we've got him taped in turn. We'll now show you his handiwork by pointing out the difference from this, the Ju-90 you already know, and the new one, which has a different fin and rudder. So, head on the old one first again. Now the changes. Center section wider, to outer engines this time. Dihedral from there outwards. Dihedral also to tailplane. Leaving the new Ju-90 for you. Again the old original. And now for the most important change. We lose the arrow head for a more orthodox wing plan. And one other point, the tailplane is now rectangular. It's only in this view that the change is likely to make you aim at the wrong chap. So we'll put the new 90 alongside the Halifax. Confusing? No. Because there are plenty of differences as soon as you get down to it. Ju-90, pointed nose. Fuselage pointed at both ends. Halifax, fuselage blunted by gun turrets at both ends. 90, engines radial and in a straight line. Halifax, inline engines set back. Wing plan of the 90, wide rectangular center section, extending to the outside engines. Halifax, narrower, extending only to the inside engines. Junkers wing flaps as before. Tail plane of the 90, wide, thin, and rectangular, typically Junkers. Halifax tail plane, not so wide, taper to leading edge. So you still know which one to go for. And... That's that.